Mic checker. Chicka, chicka, chicka. It's not some, baby. Uh, yeah. A one time, baby. Uh, what? Uh, for your mind, baby. Uh, yeah. We gon' shine, baby. Uh, and what we do, we gon' grind, baby. Uh, yeah. What? And this see, it's another episode. So, so, uh, Swingers After Dark. And this is your host. Nah, son, baby. Here we go. Uh, you know what, family? I love to bust a nut in a bitch's butt. Yes. I like to drop my load in an asshole. You know what I'm saying? I, I love anal sex, especially when it's raw. I'm fucking a chick in her ass, and it's like some chicks, you know, they take, you know, they, they know how to take anal like a fucking champ. You feel me? They know how to take them back shots like a champ. It's like they're pros. Like this one time, right? I, I was about to, you know, fuck this chick in the ass. And, you know, I, w- I was going to grab the lube. Because a lot of chicks who I fucked in the ass wanted me to, you know, lubricate the cock. And the chick was like, nah, chief, nah. I don't need the lube. I don't need that cake. Why? I want you to give me that dick dick raw. Just the way it is. No lube. I just want you to stick your dick in my ass. Just the way it is. And she was about that life. That bitch was about that action. And that's a bitch I like. A chick who know how to take anal like a champ. Like you not like running away from the dick. You just taking them shots. It's like you throwing it back. Like, like a, a chick, she know how to take ass shots so good that she's throwing it back as if I'm fucking a pussy. It's like, that's how hardcore that chick was. And that's how hardcore I want my chicks. Like, if, if you're a type of chick, right? If you can't take me fucking you in a pussy, you sure as hell can't take me fucking you in the ass. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm gonna fuck your ass like it's a fucking pussy. You feel me? But, you know, a a lot of chicks, like, every chick can't take anal the same way. It's like you got to ease on in, ease on in. Until you can really go to town, until she gets used to it, you know? She got to be relaxed. It's like, I I know you want to Hulk smash this chick. But some chicks, you know, you got to ease on in. She has to be comfortable. If her muscles is not relaxed... If her muscles are not relaxed, then she's not going to take it very well. She needs to relax. And you have to get her in the mood to relax. Real talk. You know, some chicks, they talk shit on the phone. They be like, yeah, I want you to fuck me in the ass. They they be like that. They be like, yeah, I'm ready. Give me that cock. They be on some shit like that until I whip it out. And they be like, Err! hold up. Wait a minute. Whoa, horsey. Whoa. I was not ready. See, a lot of chicks talk that shit until I pull down my pants and show them this dick. You feel me? Because a lot of chicks, they, they talk that shit, but they don't know how to back it up. They bark is louder than their fucking bite. You know what I'm saying? And and that's why, you know, a lot of chicks, you should not, chicks, you should not talk on your pussy the same way that you talk on a fucking phone or you texting me. You feel me? But fellas, you know, when when you about to fuck a chick in the ass, it's like, hold the tip of your dick, squeeze the tip of your dick and ease it in because that's like the biggest part of the dick. So when you're about to fuck a chick in the ass, like squeeze the dick like the mushroom and then like ease on in with the lubricant, like ease in. Like just, it's like, don't be a Neanderthal about it and shove the whole dick in the, in the asshole. You got to ease in baby, baby steps, inch by inch. Like, trust me, you're going to get it. You, you're going to get it. You know, patience is a virtue. Patience is a bitter tree whose fruits are sweet. And yes, you would get to that fruit called an ass. You feel me? Because trust me, she wanted as bad as you do. But you have to help her help you. And that's why you got to ease on in. Like throw the lubricant on. Like I like astral gel. And I like the silicone gel. 
it's like it's so damn slippery. You know, it's slippery to the point where it's like you just slipping and sliding the asshole. It's like you skiing in the ass. Like you going on a fucking ski trip. You feel me? It's like you're an Olympic skier going through slopes and shit in the Aspens. Like that's how slippery the anal, you know, the 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 fucking you, you need like the lubricant. That's how slippery the lubricant is. You need to study your lubricants. Whatever works for you. But I like Astrogel. KY, it's cool. But I like silicone. Like the silicone joints. You feel me? Like the slippery joints. That when I like put on my dick, you know, it's like a fucking... It's fucking slippery. It's like fucking ice. It's like a piece of ice. And yes, you need, you need your dick to be like a slip of ice... It'd be slippery than ice to the point where you could just slide in the asshole. Especially you small dick motherfuckers. Like if you got a small dick, you don't have to worry about that. This is big dick problems. You feel me? But for you small dick motherfuckers, you wouldn't have to worry about like, you know, squeezing the top of the dick, the tip of the dick just sticking in. You could just fall in the asshole and you fucking the shit out of her. You feel me? But... I'm not the one to talk about another man's cock. That's on you, playboy. Whatever works for you. You know, but not for nothing. Speaking on my own dick. Like, if her pussy is too big. And it feels like I'm about to drown in a pussy. I'm sticking it in in a butt. Real talk. I'm a, if, if her pussy is too big. If I'm no match. For the pink passion. I'm a fucker ass like it's the pussy. You dig? I need a fucking equalizer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real talk, because you have a lot of chicks. They got that roast beef pussy. It's like, you know, like them chicks, they have like multiple folds in a vagina. It's like nasty. I'm glad I never came across those chicks because if I'm trying to eat your pussy, ladies, if I'm trying to eat your pussy, I don't want to like go through a fucking maze. It's like I'm trying to like go through folds. Like, I'm trying to fold like a paper airplane or some shit. It's like, help me help you. If I'm going to fuck you in the ass, I'm helping you to help me. But help me help you when I'm eating the pussy. I, I Like, if you got that roast beef... Ladies, if you got that, like, Arby's roast beef pussy where you got, like, a lot of folds, I'm not eating you out, yo. Point blank. You know, just like how you, you don't want to, like, suck a, a circumcised dick. Or uncircumcised dick. You don't want to suck an uncircumcised dick. I'm not eating a roast beef pussy. I'm not trying to like. Put my tongue to work. Double time. Just because God said that. You know. Let that beef roast beef. Down in your JJ. But back to the asshole. You know. When you first in her ass. When you enter her ass. It's like go up and down. Like do be smooth about it. Don't be like a fucking caveman. Be like smooth. When you in the asshole. You got to go up and down. Up and down. Round and round baby. You got to do your thing. You got to make love to the asshole. When you. Listen. When you with a woman right. Now I'm talking about heterosexual males. With a fucking female. You dig. That's what I'm talking about. But hey, you gay motherfuckers, y'all could get some pointers too. Because I'm sure I have gay listeners. And I don't discriminate. So, you know, if you flow that way, if you rock for the other team, you play for the other team. Fellas, you could get some pointers too. Hell, everybody could get some pointers. Ladies, you could get some pointers too. You you may put on the fucking strap on or the dildo you want to fuck a chicken ass. You could get some pointers too, goddammit. Hell, we could also get some pointers in this bitch. <laughs> you feel me? So we could talk like fam in this motherfucker. We grown, right? We grown. Yes, we are. I hope you're grown. Because I'm grown to the motherfucker. But anyway, when you in a, in a bong hole, in the ass, in the ass, you got to make love to the ass. To the ass. You got to make love to the... You have to seep in. It's like tongue kissing, baby. You got to seep in. You got to take your time and do it right. Like the S.O.S. Band, the song, that song from the SOS band, take your time and do it right. That's what you got to do when you in the ass. You got to flow and squeeze the head. Or if you wear a dildo or strap on a plastic dick, 
Just like ease in, put the lube on it, ease in. Like take your time, inch by inch, centimeter by centimeter, millimeter by millimeter until she's comfortable. First of all, you gotta tell the bitch to relax. Or she may like give her like some tequila or something to like loosen her up. Like tequila, tequila make a chick do shit that she would never dream about doing. Like I'm not saying that, you know, rape the broad or something because it has to be consensual but let's just say, you know, both of y'all, y'all know each other, y'all familiar with each other. And she just want to unwind. You know, she want to unwind. Drink some tequila. Like, tell her to drink some tequila to unwind. And then when she gets to that point, you know, y'all tongue kissing, y'all sipping on tequila, y'all, you know, playing music, got the incense, or whatever the fuck the case may be. She's ready. She's ripe for the pickings. And then when you get behind, like slap her on the ass or something. Or flog her. Get like a flogger and flog her. And then slap her on the ass. You know? Like that. You gotta slap her. She gotta get right. Because she's too tight. You know? And then you just ease in. Ease in, like go slow and steady. And then when she like get used to it. When like her asshole like expands, oh, that feels good. Like that's like the best feeling. It's like fucking a, a version, you know. It's like so damn tight on your dick. It's like hugging it, like hugging it, like that long lost friend you never seen in a long time. You haven't seen this person in years, like 20, 25, 30 years. That's how an asshole feels, especially when like you lubricate it. You know what I'm saying? And then the best part is when you come in the butt. <clears throat> when you bust a nut in the asshole. When you bust a nut in the ass. E, Charlie, shuck it, duck it, quack, quack. That shit is euphoria. <laughs> Real talk. Like, I, I, I've never went to heaven before, but damn, fucking a chick in the ass and busting a nut in her ass. That's like, I was saying Jesus and God and Muhammad and Allah. I was saying all types of religious shit when I was in the booty. You feel me? But, you know, it's an art. So you got to, you know, throw the lubricant on, you know, ease on in. And then when she get used to it, then you could just pick up the speed, pick up the force, pick up the rhythm. And then you could really go to work. And then when you're about to bust that nut, mm, 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 itty bitty bang bang, you know, she may want to marry you. She's going to get used to it. Or some chicks, yo, some chicks are so hardcore, they don't give a fuck about eat that easing on in shit. You can just like stick it in like you about to stick it in the pussy and just bang the shit out of her. Those are pros. A lot of chicks are not pros like that. A lot of chicks will take the dick like you fucking a pussy. You, and I love those chicks because sometimes I just want to be a fucking animal in the ass. They don't need... They don't need tequila. They don't need whiskey. They don't need liquor. They don't need beer. They don't need wine. They don't need fucking vodka, cognac. They don't need any of that shit. They're right. And I want that. Ladies, if I like you like that and you love anal, you enter anal, holler at me. You got to be sexy though because I don't fuck with you handsome looking broads. You got to be beautiful and sexy, you dig? And on that note, this has been another episode of Swingers After Dark, and this is your host, Not Some Baby. Check me out at www.notsomeblaze.com. That's www.nahsunblaze.com. And check out my ebook, You, Me, Us, Them, The Swinging Manifesto. It's on Nook, Kindle, iBus, Google Play. Go get it. Shoot me an email at swingpodcast at gmail.com. That's swingpodcast at gmail.com. And hit me up with any questions and or concerns that you may have, have, have. Rate, share, subscribe, and comment on this podcast. You da 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 dig. And on this note, until next time, peace. And don't kiss them hoes in the mouth, baby.